What's going on coders and welcome to episode 9 of our script service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about authentication. So this video was partly inspired by one of my subscribers, Rodrigo Sedat, who asked a wonderful question. How can you prompt the user with an authorization dialog if the function that has been triggered is not actually authorized, right? So if you access a document and there's some trigger that is associated with opening that document, however, that trigger has not been authorized yet, how can you prompt the authorization dialog to that user so that they can click yes, accept, authorize, and so the function can actually run? Well, there are three, me three methods to do this, and this is somewhat of a tricky subject, so we'll try to clear it up as much as we can. But the three methods that we are going to be going over today are get authorization info, get authorization status, and get authorization URL. So let's jump in the code and see what these methods can do. Usually when you're implementing these authorization methods, you're doing so because there is a trigger set up somewhere in your code. So let's do that now. Let's set up a trigger. So we will run the function set up trigger. And this is going to set up a trigger for this spreadsheet whenever it opens, this spreadsheet right here. So if we say review permissions, and we go to this account right here, we'll say, yep, app isn't verified. By the way, this is your authorization dialog right here. So in case you were wondering what that terminology was, this is your authorization dialog. We've seen this before, we'll go to the authorization. Um, it says it's unsafe, but it's okay, we wrote it. so. It, we wrote this code so it is actually safe. We know what's going on, we'll hit allow. And now it has successfully run this function right here so the trigger is set up. And just to verify that, let's go to our spreadsheet. We'll hit the refresh button. And after this finishes loading, we should see a new record that appears in this cell right here. Yep, A1. Hello at Thursday, May 14th at 325, and that is exactly the time I have as well. Great, so we know that this is all running uh, properly and the function is set up correctly, or the trigger is set up correctly. But now let's say, as is usually customary uh, when you're writing code, or usually um, uh, what happens is that the code gets modified somewhere. Let's say somebody adds a new service to the code which is Gmail app, and they wanna send this email, right? And then they just go on and they save it, and they think everything is correct, and then a, another user comes in to their spreadsheet. Again, it doesn't have to be the same user. It could be someone with a different uh, Gmail account. But they go in and then they access this, and they open the page, and let's see. So we want, again, we want this function. Again, it should run. Is it going to run? I am not sure. Let's just check it out. And we're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting and nothing happens. And we wonder why, why didn't this function input row uh, fire at all? And we didn't get an email either, right? And it just fired, but now it doesn't. Um, so we go into our, we go into our stack driver logging and we want to know what happened. So we go and we see that the status right here was failed. Why was it failed? So we go into this and we say exception, error exception, the script does not have permission to perform the action. Google or Gmail compose and Gmail send all of these actions. And that is probably something that you were expecting because when we authorized this app, we authorized it for the spreadsheet app and the, uh, the new trigger, the script app new trigger to run, but we never authorized it for the Gmail app. And that is a serious problem because now basically our trigger is broken. It's not going to fire anymore. And 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 that is defeats the purpose of having a trigger set up in the first place. So what we want to do is that if there are any unauthorized uh, services that we're using, we want to prompt that to the user, whoever is accessing this page right here, this spreadsheet. We want to say, hey, there's a trigger set up but this trigger uses some uh, services that haven't been authorized yet. Would you like to authorize them to run the trigger? So let's do that right now. This is where the methods, uh, the authorization methods come into play. So they are accessed through the script app. And the first one we're gonna look at is get authorization info. So this is just going to return us 
all the information that we need in order to authorize the script to run. So as you can see, it takes in a parameter that is of type auth mode. So auth mode is, uh, Google has specified different modes for authentication. And this makes kind of a little bit of sense because as you can imagine, there are some scripts that need a little bit more security than others. You can imagine that, um, let's say if you build a simple trigger, that's, that's an on open trigger, and the user just doesn't know that that trigger is built up on the spreadsheet, say, uh, you can run, again, this on open simple trigger and get a bunch of information from the user, and that is not what you want, right? Or nobody wants that, Google doesn't want that, uh, the user accessing the spreadsheet does not want that. Uh, they don't want information stolen from them secretively. So there's different auth modes, and these are all enums. Let me just show you real quick. So script app auth mode, and there's actually only four different tiers. There's full, so full access to all of these services, limited access to the services, no access to services, and custom function. Um, so if you know that, say, this is that your the way that you have set up your project uh, allows for full accesses or full access to all the services. You can just select full right here, but sometimes you just don't know if it's going to be full or limited or none, right? So an easy way to decide or an easy way to find out is to gather that information from the event parameter. So we'll go e dot auth mode. Oops, that's a comma. I need a dot, so it's a e dot auth mode, and that will send in the correct um, protocol that we're running under, uh, the, the correct authorization mode that we are running under in this project, and then they'll send it so that we will get our authorization info. So let's just store that info in a constant we'll call auth info. Great, so now with that constant, we have access to two more methods. Oops, I said auth Auth info. I wanted to just say auth info. So we have now the authorization status, and this is going to return us one of two things: either the string required or the string not required. So if there is any additional authorization that needs to happen, it will return for us required. If there is no more authorization and the function can run, the project can run uh, with with no errors in authorization. At least it will return the uh, the string not required. And then the second one is if there is any authorization that is required, it will, this get URL, this authorization URL, it will return a link to a, the authorization dialog itself. So actually, let's just put these into practice just to explain, get a better idea of what's going on. Great, so let's just for now, let's say console.log get authorization status. Great, so if we now go and refresh this page, and again, we're gonna be logging our authorization status for now. So let's go into our executions, and we may need to refresh, let's just do that for now. All right, so here we go, we have uh, this new log, and it gives us an object that says a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, what I want to do, instead of just logging it, let's, let's display it on the screen. So we'll say spreadsheet app dot get UI dot alert. And I think this will be a little bit easier to understand. All right, let's, let's try that again. Oops, did I do something? Yep, okay, let's try that again. So we will refresh this one more time. And now we should get a alert that says either, yep, additional authorization is required or no, it is not required. And as we can see, it is required, which makes total sense because we have not authorized this Gmail app to run yet. So we can actually do a little bit of control flow. We can do some logic here. We can say, if this right here equals equals required, then present to the user, oops, did I do something? Yep, here we go. Then present to that user the authorization URL so that they can authenticate the app. 
So let's try that right now. We'll say get or we'll say auth info dot get authorization URL, and then we'll, we're also going to give that to them in an alert. And we'll put a nice message. Actually, we'll say we'll say please authenticate this uh, this this script to run here. And we need to put our dollar sign and our curly bra brackets. And now if we hit save, and let's go back into our spreadsheet. And now again, it should still be required. There should still be additional authorization that is required. And we should get that pop up that says required. Yep. But now we should get this pop up that says please authenticate this script to run right here. So we'll take that URL, we'll paste it in our browser. And now if we did everything correctly, yep, here we go. We have now the authorization dialog, which was presented from this spreadsheet right here. So we'll, we'll choose the account. We'll go into advanced. We'll authorize it. Everything is safe. We wrote it and that's okay. We'll hit allow. And now we can see that this, this, uh, this project right here has been successfully authorized to access your data. Great, and again, it doesn't have to be from, you don't have to just access this spreadsheet from the same account. It could be anyone's account. Um, but let's now go to the spreadsheet again and we will refresh the page. And now, instead of saying required, it should return for us not required. So there's no more authentication that is required. Additionally, we should get this record to appear right here and then also the email to show up. There we go, it says here, it says, hello, someone access your spreadsheet. So now the trigger is, or the function is running as intended, which is extremely cool in my opinion, because again, the authorization happened from this, uh, from a UI, it happened from the user accessing the spreadsheet product right here. So one more thing before we close out this video, again, you need to make sure your, your auth mode, uh, if you want full access to all of the, all of the uh, products or all the services that, that Google provides, it, it, it needs to be full access. So again, just check to make sure this e.auth mode is full if it's something like limited or none. Unfortunately, you will not be able to access some of the the, the, the services, say say Gmail app, but if it's full, just uh, get the auth info and then, and then present the user with the authorization URL. All right guys, I know that this could be a tricky subject at times, um, and, I, and I encourage you to review, replay any of this video to get uh, just some more practice on it and try things out on your own as well, just to get a better feel for it. But if you did like it and learned something, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, post your comments down below, and I'll see you in the very next episode.